A lone bagpiper summons the world's finest amateur golfers to compete for honor and country at the Spirit International Amateur Golf Championship. Standing on the shoulders of legends, a new generation of world-class athletes emerge, young, talented, and full of spirit. This is the world's premier amateur golf competition. This is the Spirit International. The Spirit International takes place every other year opposite of the World Amateur Team Championships. Each of the 20 participating country teams is comprised of their national champion men and women golfers. All six continents are represented at the Spirit International, which is played at Whispering Pines Golf Club on the shores of Lake Livingston, just 90 miles north of Houston, Texas. The Spirit International is a 72-hole event featuring five separate competitions, and all competition winners are awarded Olympic-style medals in gold silver and bronze. It's pretty amazing to see all these people from around the world here, China, Korea, Australia. To be able to say I've played here is a great honor. It's an amazing event. I, I feel like I'm at a professional golf tournament. Once you, you drive in the facilities and it is phenomenal. The way they take care of these kids and the families, um, it's a first class event top to bottom. Whispering Pines Golf Club opened in 2000 and has received numerous honors including being named as a top 100 course in America by Golf Magazine, Golf Week, and Golf Digest. And every year since 2006 has been ranked as the number one golf course in Texas. The Spirit International is proud to welcome these talented athletes onto one of the most beautiful, challenging, and memorable courses that the game of golf has to offer. During the competition, we stand amazed at the talent and dedication of these amateur golfers. But we also recognize and celebrate the fact that our competitors and teams are young and vibrant. That's why the fun continues even after the clubs are put away for the day. Camp Olympia offers a global village atmosphere where all of the players and team captains spend time together, participating in the many exciting evening activities. The Spirit International began in 2001 and has rapidly grown in reputation and respect worldwide. The tournament always begins with a bang at the opening ceremonies where participants are introduced by nation and then welcomed to the event by an ensemble of notable dignitaries such as President George Bush. The golfers playing in the Spirit International represent 20 countries around the world. This tournament will showcase great golfers and promote international goodwill. And I thank my friend Corby Robertson for building a great golf course and sponsoring this tournament. The list of former players and tournament winners who have competed at the Spirit International is quite impressive. At the inaugural event in 2001, Lorena Ochoa's outstanding play led Team Mexico to victory. She has many fond memories of her experience at the Spirit International. All the players are so happy to be here. They enjoy the moment inside and outside the golf course. They meet you know, new people, new friends. I met many, many good friends two years ago and I still you know, keep in touch with them. At the 2003 Spirit, it was Team USA who captured the gold medal, led by two current professional superstars, LPGA sensation Paula Creamer and PGA Tour champion Brant Snedeker. I was fortunate enough to play there in 2003, right there at Whispering Pines Golf Club. I had a blast. We represented in USA, and we were fortunate enough to win a gold medal there. It's one of the memories I'll remember for the rest of my life. In 2005 and 2007, a future star-studded player field included men's players Martin Keimer of Germany, Jason Day from Australia, Eduardo Molinari from Italy, George Cutsey from South Africa. It featured women's players Yanni Seng of Chinese Taipei, Jessica Korda of the Czech Republic, and Amanda Blumenhurst of the United States, all competing in the Spirit International. But it was the British invasion for those two Spirit Internationals with Team England taking home the International Team Gold Medal in both 2005 and 2007. We gel as a team really and they obviously showed up at the end of the week. We've met a lot of new people that we've never met before and it's just an all, all round really great experience really. The Spirit gained national and international acclaim before the first ball was struck as former Spirit Gold Medal champion Paula Creamer announced her commitment to be the United States team captain for the 2009 Spirit International. 
This is a fantastic week. The team that we had were amazing. They bonded so well. There's nothing better than it. I mean, this is truly the Olympics for, for our golf. To be a captain it is pretty cool. Paula's international team competition passion was contagious and effective as Team USA, led by Young Lions Jordan Spieth and Lexi Thompson, captured the international team gold medal in impressive fashion. I mean, it's the greatest honor you can get, you know, in, in any kind of sport, I think, at, at my age. Um, you know, anytime you get to play for your country, you know, it's, it's such a great honor, and I was so thrilled to get the call. We had a lot of fun, and after golf, it was ping pong tournaments, and it was so much fun. I always remember this experience. The most competitive Spirit International took place in 2011 when five separate countries in the third round held the lead. Denmark, Germany, Korea, Argentina, and the United States all took turns at the top of the leaderboard, but the USA, captained by former USGA Executive Director David B. Fay, posted the low round in the final round to win its second straight international gold medal. And when you take a look at uh, the 20 countries that are here, uh, you're really seeing the stars of the future. It's an elite competition played among the elite countries in the game of golf. The Spirit International stays true to the high ideals of sportsmanship, respect, camaraderie, honor, and integrity, and the players carry these memories with them long into their post-Spirit careers. It's uh, such a great honor to be able to come and, and represent our country. Went above and beyond everything I could have imagined. Corbett does a great job. Everybody who, who volunteered really ran a world-class event and it was so much fun to be part of it. I've been around many, many years playing or even on the European tour, and, but this one has been very, very special and I hope to come back next few years. I always get choked up talking about this, but we're all going to leave Whispering Pines as winners and I think that you all represented your countries with class, sportsmanship and your integrity. was It was amazing. It's been a thrill to watch you play this honest test of golf for your great effort to honor your country. The friendships and memories that you earned here over the week will last a lifetime if you carry the spirit in your heart. The Spirit International is a prestigious competition where the world's best men and women amateur golfers compete for their respective countries. But it's more than just that. The Spirit promotes global goodwill among all its participants that encourages and develops lifelong friendships and memories that will live in their hearts forever. We welcome you to catch The Spirit International. For more information, go to thespiritgolf.com. The Spirit International Amateur Golf Championship is a 501c3 charitable event conducted by the Spirit Golf Association.